Hello. Let's create a moody shot with some flickering TV screens. You can use cubes to block the scene out, but I'm just going to import this model of an old TV since I already have it handy. It needs to be rescaled to look right, so I'm going to drag in a human scale mesh and resize it. Since this is a close up shot, the quality of your assets matter a great deal. This tile texture is from Polyhaven. I have the add on so I'm able to drag it directly inside of Blender. I'll also adjust the UV scaling until it looks right. This TV mesh needs a little bit of cleanup. More specifically, I'll be deleting the plug and the cable. The former is selectable by hitting the L key while the cursor is over it, and for the latter, I used Select Similar, Area, and manually deselected anything that wasn't part of the cable. I added a long, winding cable that will add some interesting contrast to the floor. Add a curve and select the Draw tool, then draw in a curve. We can adjust any sharp points by scaling and rotating them until they look right. Now we can add some thickness to the geometry by using the bevel option in the curve properties. Finally, we can add a simple black material to it and repeat until we have enough cables. Let's start lighting. First, I'm going to turn the strength of my world settings to zero and add a simple area light. I won't be using color temperature since I want a blue LED look. We can load a video or image into the emission socket of the television's video material to have it play back some footage. If your television model doesn't have this already, you can create a plane and plug the video into the color socket of an emission shader, then position it in front of the screen. You can also try adding a shrink wrap modifier to make it stick to the surface. Now it's time to really start tweaking the scene and getting the mood right. I added some fog by scaling a cube to fit the scene. Turn its visibility in the object properties to bounds, and in the material editor, delete the principled shader. Now add a principled volume and plug it into the volume output socket to create some fog. We can lower the density and change the anisotropy value to adjust the look. We'll also need to crank the strength of our area light to compensate now that our scene is darker. Let's add some visual interest by making the screens flicker. To do that, add a keyframe to the emission strength by hitting I. Unlike regular keyframes, material keyframes don't show in the timeline or graph editor until you select both the object and the appropriate material node. Now we can open it in the graph editor and add a noise modifier. Adjust the settings until you're happy with the brightness and rate of the flicker. I decided to duplicate the television multiple times and have a different video texture play on each of them. I also modeled a quick little power supply box to add an extra element to the scene. If you notice your video image turning black, it's because the noise modifier is taking the emission to a negative value. To fix it, add a limits modifier after the noise and set the minimum Y to zero. You can add camera shake by using the same noise modifier technique on the camera's rotation keyframes. Finally, we can jump into the compositor for some color grading, blur, glow, and film grain to finish the shot. I also added a steam element to help break up the fog. If you find this content valuable, please like and subscribe so I know to make more. Thanks everyone. I hope you found the video helpful.